Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make my frontal units. Here I'm going to be using Tropic Touches hair. Um, I'm using a 18 inch frontal with 24 and 226 inch bundles. So right here I'm just showing you how the frontal looks. I will have all the links down below. Also, um, there is a sale going on right now where you could buy a three bundle deal, get a frontal or a closure free, a five by five closure. So I'm gonna leave all that information in my description box. So right here I'm just showing you guys the detail of like my packaging and stuff. You guys can see the texture and everything is on there. This would be attached, but I ripped it off before I got to show y'all. I'm just showing you how the bundles look really, really nice. And this is the dome cap that I use. This is a mesh dome cap. I really like this because it makes your unit a lot breezier. I'm showing you how I measure my head. So I measure across it like that. And you can see this is 13 inches, 13 and a half basically. And then I measure like so from the front of my head right there to the back. And that's gonna be like 16 inches, I believe. Yeah, like 15 and a half basically you want it to be. But you're gonna measure your head and get those numbers. Then I'm gonna put the, the wig cap on the mannequin head. And you guys can see, I'm just making sure that the middle is positioned right so the wig does not feel weird when it's on my head. And I go ahead and take that same measuring tape and I'm going to measure the mannequin head exactly to my measurements. And this, if you feel like your wig is a little bit too big, especially your custom units, make sure you're doing this because if you're just going off of like pulling um the cap down to the back your wig will be way too big and it's gonna have those little like bumpy areas especially if you're doing like a straight look like you're straightening the hair it's gonna be bumpy so you don't want this so right here i just put the frontal on the mannequin head and i pull it a little bit past the um dome cap if you guys watch erica j's video you will know this method amazing especially for beginners i i really recommend you guys to watch her video because she show you how to like do the lines and everything on the cap i don't really show you how to do the lines but i'm just showing you my updated routine that's like measuring my head and making sure those numbers add up on my mannequin head so right here you can see that m she always says to make sure that there's an m in the front so make sure you guys have an m and then i'm just showing you a little um bit of how i sew so i just kind of put the needle through and i put the thread on top of the needle and i loop it through like so I can't really explain it, but you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm going to play some music and leave it to play in real time so you guys can see the detail of this. I want you to smile today, but I don't feel like smiling. Well, it doesn't matter how you feel inside, you know. It's what shows up on the surface that counts. That's what my mother taught me. Take all your bad feelings and push them down, all the way down, and then you'll fit in. All right, you guys, so now we're going to move on to the bundles. I'm going to be, Ella, I'm only going to be using three bundles in this wig. So at the back, I did put my 24, no, actually, what did I do? I think I put my 24 in the back and I put the 226 inches at the top and that gave me the most volume because this is my frontal wig. So yeah, I'm going to have some more videos um, styling my wigs and stuff like that for my company. But yeah, I'm just going to leave you guys so you guys can watch me sew this. I, I did do the flip over type of method, like flipping the tracks instead of cutting them. Because when you flip the tracks and you want to take the tracks out or remake the wig or whatever, this will be better than having a bunch of cut up pieces. Also, this will be better so your hair will not shed. I'm just showing you guys how the ends of the hair look. I really, really love my hair. I love it, love it, love it. <laughs> I'm irritating. But yeah, I'm just going to leave you guys so you guys can watch what I'm doing. And I'm going to play some music and I will be right back. But I don't feel like smiling.
All right, you guys, so I'm just gonna show you when I part the hair, your wig should look something like this, or if you're doing more bundles, it should be a little bit closer so you're not gonna see the tracks at all. But you guys see how nice and neat that is. So all I'm doing right here is just cutting off that last track right there, and I'm gonna sew it to my frontal, at the back of my frontal, so that this this um track does not go crazy and unravel and stuff. Right here, I'm just showing you how I would be sewing those tracks going up so that's gonna lay nice and flat so that's all i'm doing right here and i did do the flip over method for this as well the camera was going in and out of focus so i really apologize for that but i'm still showing you guys the demonstration of what i'm doing All right, you guys, so this is the last track, and this is the track that is going to seal off your wig. So make sure that you're doing this. So all I did right here is I started curving that track to cover. You see how that's curved right there? And then I'm just going to flip that over, and I'm going to sew right along the back of the frontal. And literally, this is how you seal off your cap. You want to make sure you do this every single time. You just want to make sure that you do this because this is going to make sure that your cap is nice and seamless. So right here, you guys see the remainder of that cap on the inside. I'm going to cut it off, but you don't want to cut too, too much off, like too much close to the cap. Just too much close to the frontal, just in case you want to go in and change out the frontal. You want to leave a little piece of that cap so you can have space to change out the frontal. That's all I'm doing right here. I hope this video was very, very helpful. We're coming to the end of the video. Do not forget to shop Tropic Touches. All the links will be in my description box. Um, yeah, so I'm just showing you how nice and sturdy the wig looks. Thank you guys so much for your support. Leave a comment down below. Do not forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. I just took some of my Snapchats to show you how the hair looked when it was straightened. Also, those lashes are my lashes. So you guys can shop my lashes as well. The links will be down below. Bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.